All right, hey there students. So in this video today, we're gonna go over depreciation methods. Equipment was purchased for 93 grand. That's the purchase price. You got freight for 4,600 and there's a cost of 15,400 to build the foundation and install it. Annual insurance, annual was purchased for 7,760. It is estimated that the equipment will have a 19,200 salvage value and you have eight years. That's a lot of stuff. So what we're gonna do here is figure out the cost of that equipment first. That's important. And then go from there. So we start off with the purchase cost, which is 93,000. And then you got some freight. Freight, you need to ship it, right? That's part of the cost. Same with uh, installation and foundation, 15,400. Now, annual insurance, since you renew it every year, right? It's annual, that does not get the asset ready for its intended use. So it does not go into the cost, or another way to say it, it's not capitalized into that piece of equipment. So ignore it. It is estimated the equipment will have a 19,200 salvage value. Well, let's, let's stop there. Let's go ahead and get our cost first. Cool. 113,000. Now, it has salvage value, so we have to subtract that out, right, for the formula of straight line method. Get that out of there. Then move down a bit, subtract that out. Now we're at 93,800. The question's asking, what's the depreciation expense each year? So annual depreciation expense, all we do is after we take out our salvage value, we divide by the eight year life. And I'll move it over, and that's going to equal what? 11,725. That is your depreciation expense every year. So the tricky one, or the tricky part about that is to get the cost right first. You have to know what goes into the cost of this equipment. And I did a whole separate video series on that. Uh, cost of long-lived assets. So watch it if you have it very important okay all right so next question here number four so now we're getting into the activity method as you can see here so we it wants to know pretty much what's the amount of depreciation for the first full year and the equipment had this many hours so equipment had a cost of four to five thousand estimated salvage value of 37 estimated life of five years and 15,000 hours. So with the activity method, we don't worry about the years. That's why it's important to see which method they want because they're going to give you years and hours, but we're using units of activity, which is hours. So don't worry about the years. Now we need to calculate it and I'll show you what to do here. Got to use a formula. It's very similar to straight line. So if you remember, straight line was cost minus salvage value always in the, the numerator. But in the denominator, now we're using the activity method. So it's actually going to be units under here. So our cost is 425,000. Salvage is 37,000. We're dividing it by the total number of hours. Let's see what we get. All right, so what's gonna happen here, it's gonna be about $25.87 per hour. And wants to know for the first full year, what was the equipment was used, or sorry, during which the equipment was used, 39.50 hours. So we know that <clears throat> $25.87 
87 cents was used 3950 hours All right so let's get that number And we get for the first year we depreciate a hundred and two thousand one seven three. There's some rounding there with the decimal, but that's about what it is. And that's your answer. So again, really important to look at what method they're wanting. Eh, we'll go ahead and take a break here. We'll continue this in part two. We'll keep practicing uh, depreciation methods, and in part two, there's also one on uh, revised estimates, which you might have to know. Cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.